Biblical Significance of Numbers The Number 21 The meaning of the number 21 in the Bible is that it represents great wickedness of rebellion and sin. On the last day of God's seven-day spring festival, day 21 of the month of Nisan, the Eternal carried out his last judgment against the Egyptians. He drowned Pharaoh and his entire army in the Red Sea as they were pursuing the Israelites in order to make them slaves again. Haggai chapter 2 verse 1, In the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet. The seventh Hebrew month is Tishrei. The last day of God's annual fall feast of tabernacles, which occurs every year on the 21st day of the seventh Hebrew month, pictures the end of Christ's 1,000-year reign on earth. At the end of this period, the devil will also be loosed out of his spiritual prison for a short time. Satan's first task after being freed from prison is to lead people once again into war and rebellion against all that is holy. He will only get so far because God will execute his judgment against the satanic forces by consuming them in fire. Revelation chapter 20 verse 10, the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. In 2 Timothy, the Apostle Paul writes, in the last days there will come times of difficulty. People will be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. He lists 21 sins the humans will indulge in. Selfishly love themselves. Love money. Brag quite a bit. Be proud of themselves. Blaspheme. Disregard and disobey their parents. Will not be thankful for what they have. Reject being holy. Will not have natural affection. Will be uncompromising. Falsely accuse others. Lack any self-control. Will be fierce hate anyone who does good, betray others, will act hard-headed, will have exalted, selfish views, lovers of pleasure, reject loving God, will seem, superficially, to be godly, deny God's power. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 5, Paul's ultimate advice to Timothy, after listing all the above sins, is to avoid such people. In 2 Kings chapter 24 verse 18, the last king of Judah, Zedekiah, began his reign when he was only 21 years old. 